are here today as I don't know more proclaim our indigenous and non-indigenous our indigenous and our non-indigenous allies alike. All right, we and our kids together. We are all here today on the 250th anniversary of a document that was never honored. 250 years of lies and broken promises ends today. We have an opportunity here as one community to unite our voices and put our efforts together. No more divided no more is what we really need to be because there's too much happening where all my stuff is over here and your stuff is over here. And this royal proclamation is just as relevant as every other broken promise that led to the poverty and the systemic violence that continues to happen to all of our people here every single day. So we have to start coming together more often. We have to break down these silos and we have to understand, look at one another for what we really are. Underneath this skin, underneath our beliefs, underneath those political parties, we are all human beings. We all have a heartbeat. And if we listen to that heartbeat, we will know in a few minutes like what happens when this drum is going to sound, what our real responsibility is. This isn't about rights. This is about responsibility and the responsibility we have to one another. So I want to say thank you to everyone, all of the organizers. I wasn't able to give a hand helping organize as much as I wish I could. There's all sorts of stuff happening everywhere, but we got work to do everyone and we got a busy week coming up and it's gonna take every single one of us working together. On the issue of this proclamation, there is an honor the apology petition. We need everybody's signature on that petition because this is how we're gonna try and hold the government to account. Another way, I know these broken promises and these uh, pieces of paper seem to mean very little, but if we continue to hound at every single available opportunity, petitions on the front steps, in the committee rooms, on the street corners, we actually can continue to make change. But we got to keep at it, and we got to do it together, you guys. So thank you to everyone for coming here today. You are the king. 250 years of broken promises ends today. And it starts with the actions that we all take later on this week. I know that tomorrow there is something called Speak Up for Democracy happening at 7.30. I don't know more is being represented by Leah Gazan. Where's Leah? Where is she? Where's Leah Gazan? I know you're going to hate me for this, but where does she go? She's short. She's short. She's right here. Where is she? Get a round of applause for Leah representing our movement tomorrow at Speak Up for Democracy. Let's get as many bodies as we can out there. Oh, and apparently Elizabeth May is going to be here, so cool. Um, also, uh, later this week, we have some teachings happening at the University of, okay, wait, U of Embers, somebody help me, I need some uh, information here. There's going to be two teachings happening, one at the University of Manitoba and one at the University of Winnipeg, leading up to what's going to happen, the Jingle Dress Healing Dance that was gifted to us from ceremony that is going to be happening this Saturday. You are all invited to get involved on these different campuses to educate your minds, um, in advance of this special rapporteur from the United Nations coming out this Saturday. Now, he's going to be here this Saturday, and I'm not asking you guys to come out to these things because I think the UN is going to come in and solve our problems. Don't, don't be deceived to think that I'm waiting for some international body to come in and make uh, our governments accountable. I'm not. What, what, what we're doing is we're bringing our community together, and we're holding one another to account. We are holding one another to account, supporting one another as much as we can, and we're using this as an opportunity when the media cameras are on, when the world really is watching what's happening in our city, to raise those issues of missing and murdered people on our streets. That's our relatives. That's our sisters. And we are not going to be silent any longer while they continue to go missing off of our very own streets and out of our own homes. today if each of us bring two people with us that's going to be like i don't even know i'm bad at math but that's lots of people and we can 
all do that. Bring the kids out. Show them how much support they have. No one in our community should ever be alone, whether they're homeless, whether they're going through challenges, whether they're dealing with systemic violence. No one should ever feel alone. And it's exciting to see that the people that are being shared online, at, uh, uh, that are being told that they're missing and murdered, that more and more often they're being found. But it's happening because of your work. It's happening because of your responsibility to share that information, everyone. So let's keep doing what we're doing, coming together as much as we possibly can. Um, and this Saturday at 10 o'clock a.m., Port of Maine, we gotta bring it, everybody. So I believe that we are now gonna call on these beautiful women sitting at the drum. Kiwait and Ojichak, Northern Crane traditional singers. These women are so beautiful and they have brought this drum here with us. As is going to happen um, from the ceremonies that told us that it was going to be so, we are going to ask our women to come forward and lead this round dance for us. So ladies, in attendance, please come forward and Kuwait and Ochichak, when you beautiful ladies are ready, take it away. Let's give it up for Kuwait and Ochichak, everybody! Yeah. Yeah.